What's up guys, Hong Nguyen here for OG Fitness and in today's video I want to talk about how did Bruce Lee really die? Okay, so if uh, you haven't subscribed to the channel already then consider subscribing and give this video a thumbs up. I make multiple videos a week and it all touches on fitness and martial arts for older guys and of course I try to make it about a smart, sustainable, and functional approach to uh, to fitness and, and martial arts for the older guys. Sorry, I was I'm being redundant there. Okay, so uh, just bear with me for this video, guys. I am trying out a new camera, so it's the sound is supposed to be half decent without even using a microphone. It's a camcorder, and I do have a microphone that I use. I found that one to be pretty good. So anyways, I'm just testing all of this out. And so, I'm not regressing. I'm just testing things out and quality and all that will get better and better as uh, we move forward in, uh, in all of this. Okay, so let's dive right in. Now, I found a, a video not too long ago. Well, actually it's been a little while, but uh, this was before I started making YouTube videos and it was super interesting. I'll, I'll put a link down below so you guys can go check it out. And it's essentially a clip of Chuck Norris explaining why Bruce Lee died, how he died, and the truth about it, right? So there's a lot of uh, you know, myths and, and uh, conspiracy uh, behind Bruce Lee's death, you know? People say, well, you know, it was the triads, or it was, you know, it was black magic or somebody killed him you know like a lot of it is conspiracy and all that and I think it's because you know he was so healthy he was like the epitome of of fitness you know and he was super strong super fast had like you know zero percent body fat practically so how could a man that healthy die all of a sudden well if you guys remember in in the history of Bruce Lee, at one point, he blew out his back. He was doing what we call good morning exercises, which by the way, unless you're a professional, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Power lifter, okay? It might be beneficial to do those type of exercises, but you really have to know what you're doing to strengthen uh, your hammies and your lower back that way. Good morning exercises where essentially you have the bar across your back like this and you're standing straight and you just bend at the hip with your knees locked out. So that's what he was doing and he busted his back. And then of course the doctors told him he would never walk again but Bruce being Bruce managed to rehab himself back to walking condition. Now here's the catch. He had to take painkillers like extreme painkillers for the rest of his life because of that injury and so at one point when he was filming uh, what, what was that movie again he was filming in uh, oh the game of death right that was his last movie he never finished it by the way so he was filming that in Hong Kong and he went over to an actress's house and they were talking and he had a major headache and then she gave him some aspirins and then he died, he never woke up, right? So what it is is that those aspirins, okay, didn't mix well with the, the medication he was taking and his medication was hardcore. Now, I don't remember if in the video uh, Chuck Norris mentioned what kind of uh, painkiller, what kind of medicine it was, but you know, it was one of those really, 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 really powerful painkillers. And because he had that in his system and then he took aspirin or whatever it was, or Tylenol at the time, and it didn't mix well and something went wrong and pop, blew, popped the vein in his, uh, in his head essentially and he died. So that was kind of a, a, a tragedy, a kind of fucked up end to it all, you know? That all stemmed from like a back injury. So it sucks, but that's the way he went out according to that clip of Chuck Norris, right? And I think that makes so much more sense than anything else I heard uh, in terms of conspiracy because all those conspiracy theories it's it's wild man it's I, I don't I personally don't believe in it so that's for this video guys I hope that that uh, 
that shed some light for those of you guys who, who didn't know or, or believe maybe something else. Now, I'm not saying that this is 100% true, but this is the most, I find, reasonable thing, uh, you know, concerning Bruce Lee's death. So, if you guys know of any other theories or, or anything, or if you guys agree or don't agree, you know, so watch that video, that link that I'll put down below of Chuck Norris, and then let me know uh, what you guys think. Do you think, no, it's not that, maybe something else? You know, I'm open anyways, I mean, anything's possible, right? It's not like if we were there, but I mean, Chuck Norris, in my opinion, is, you know, pretty credible guy, right? It's Chuck Norris, and he didn't strike me as a guy who's just gonna talk shit. So, that's it for this one, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Like, comment, subscribe. Sharing is caring, so share this video with a friend. Helps the channel grow, so thank you very much for that. And I'll see you guys in the next one. And if, if I find out this audio sucks, like when I, I put it up, I'll go back to using a better mic, but... I find that this uh, this camcorder is much, how do you say, quicker and the zoom is better. I can move in and out and it's not gonna unfocus, but I can't even plug a mic on this thing. It's a little bit old. So anyways, I that's enough uh, about me going on and on about the qualities of my videos. But anyways, thank you very much guys for your time. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.